What's going on, Team Fresh? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be reviewing Nubia's latest gaming phone. Uh, their Red Magic team reached out to me asking if I wanted to review their latest phone, and I said, sure, why not? So they sent me their uh, Red Magic uh, 3 phone, which comes in this awesome package over here. We're going to do a quick unboxing and uh, a quick review for you guys. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually got to play around with the phone and I like it a lot. And I also want to bring uh, PUBG Mobile to the channel. Let me know if you guys are interested in that in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys play PUBG. Uh, I actually did a couple of games and I actually won the second game I played with 13 kills, uh, which I think this phone is is perfect for gaming. Um, now, when I do this review, I've never actually used a gaming phone. So the only other thing I can compare it to is my iPhone 7, which is uh, you can game on it, obviously, but it's not meant for gaming. It's not really a fair comparison between the two. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Uh, obviously, the packaging is very nice, but it's what's on the inside is what matters the most. Uh, so here we go. We have the the actual phone. The one they sent me is the red one. Uh, they do have a black one available and also the camo one. But the packaging is super nice. Obviously, you just pull on this and the phone just comes right out. Let me just go ahead and uh, set it uh, to the side for a quick second. We're gonna review what else is in the package. We obviously have just the power brick in this box right here. Uh, let me just show that to you. Pretty nice. Let's set that aside. Over here we have the actual uh, USB wire uh, that you can use for charging with the included charge brick. Uh, pretty nice high quality looking wire, but let's set that aside. Uh, and then the rest is just documentation uh, and uh, some stickers over here. This is to open the SIM card slot. Uh, but yeah, you have some documentation, some stickers here. Let me go ahead and set that to the side. And we're going to go ahead and actually take a look at the phone itself. Uh, now, the phone is super, super nice. I actually like its ergonomic design. And mine actually came with the screen protector, which is pretty interesting. Uh, now, let's just go ahead and take a look at the phone. Uh, this port right here is for the dock, which is optional. Obviously, I didn't get one. This is where you put the SIM card. And over here is the gaming mode, which I'll show you later in the video. I'll do a quick PUBG uh, gameplay so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, over here, just the power port, uh, the microphone slot right here. Uh, it's got a dual um, speaker system which by the way, we'll take a look at the package and kind of go through some of the specs on this phone as well. Uh, but yeah, it's got stereo sound, which is pretty nice. Over here, you just have the volume buttons. This is the power button. Uh, this is the fan, which is super cool. This is like the first mobile phone that I see with the fan included in it. Uh, and it's also liquid cooled. So it uh, cools down the processor uh, during heavy gaming sessions. And over here are the two two triggers which are pretty awesome for gaming uh, you basically kind of hold it like a controller and you use those triggers it's pretty pretty awesome now out back on the back of the phone you can see there is an RGB lighting strip right here it's not lit right now it turns on by default when you're gaming uh, but you have the option to turn it on uh, indefinitely uh, if you wish now, you can also turn on the Red Magic uh, logo right here. It's optional as well. Uh, this is actually a button. It's a touch sensor to unlock your phone. And over here, we do have a pretty decent camera. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but it's pretty nice. Let's actually, before we turn on the phone, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, the quick specs on it, which is on the back of the, the packaging here. Now, it has the uh, pretty fancy uh, C 
CPU, which is uh, actually very good for gaming. We have the high efficiency cooling fan and it's actually liquid cooled, which I find very uh, impressive. We have the uh, the 6.65 inch 90 hertz display, which is pretty crazy for a phone. Uh, 90 hertz. I don't know how many games support 90 FPS, uh, but that's definitely a plus. It has a big battery, uh, decent camera, 48 megapixels rear, 16 megapixels front camera. Uh, played around with it. It's uh, it's got a decent quality. Um, pretty pretty nice. Pretty nice uh, for the phone. Obviously not the main selling point of this phone. Uh, we have the touch sensitive shoulder triggers, which I just showed you guys, which is perfect for gaming. You can map it uh, within their gaming uh, software, which I'll show you guys. Uh, this is uh, the RGB strip that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, we have the dual stereo front speakers, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we have the built-in vibration. This It's not supported on every single game, but it's still pretty nice to have. And the game space is where you can customize the buttons and mapping and all that good stuff. But let's go ahead and uh, turn on the phone. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Uh, to turn it on, the quickest and easiest way is by using this fingerprint scanner. So if I do that, it turns on. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is how smooth everything is. Uh, obviously, this is 90 hertz. Uh, and it operates just so smooth and it's got a beautiful screen, which I actually like a lot. Well, let me just go ahead and jump into the gaming mode. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys came in here for that. To do that, all you have to do is flip this to on and it starts right up. Now I have a few games installed here. I was playing the uh, the Car X Drift Racing. Uh, we have Fortnite installed as well and the PUBG. Uh, over here you can uh, turn on or turn off the uh, the cooling fan. Uh, we have the RGB lighting, which by the way it should be on now, as you guys see. Uh, this is fully customizable, which is super nice. Uh, let me flip back. Uh, you, you have the ability to block messages, uh, block calls if you guys are playing pretty aggressively here. The cool thing is you can go into this menu and you can actually add optional accessories which they have the handle uh, which attaches to the left or the right side of the phone. So you have a physical stick with the buttons which is pretty cool and it's got a couple of bumper triggers over here as well. Uh, I don't have that but it's available I think for around $40. The other cool thing is you can go into here which is the personal center. Uh, you can play around with the fan. Uh, you you can play around with the um, um, the lighting, the RGB lighting that they have out back. Uh, pretty nice. But let me go ahead and launch the game itself. I'll show you how it functions, how how you can uh, map your own buttons, and how the triggers actually are uh, very advantageous to use within the game. Uh, I really do think it's uh, it gives you a little bit of an advantage over just tapping over here. Uh, the game loads pretty quickly and it actually has different settings. Okay, my character obviously is <laughs> completely naked basically. I just started playing this game. Uh, but you can go through the settings over here. Uh, you can go through graphics and I didn't even know that mobile games give you this option. Maybe it's just for this one here. Uh, but you can select um, how good the graphics you want. Uh, I have the frame rate set to ultra, the graphics in HDR. I picked the colorful scheme over here which is pretty awesome uh, that now if you swipe from uh, right to left you get this uh, game space you can turn on the the, the fan uh, block calls messages uh, there's a variety of things you can turn on the um, the vibration which I've never actually used uh, PUBG does support it so maybe we'll turn it on and see how it goes um, but yeah this it's pretty cool um, let me go ahead and start a quick game I'll show you guys how um, how you can map your own buttons within this game space as well all right, guys, so now we're finally within the game. You can, you guys can see that the frame rate is actually very smooth. And I, I like the graphics a lot, especially for a mobile phone. This is uh, this is pretty impressive. 
So once we land, I'm going to show you guys uh, how we can map the buttons and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump out. We're going to go down somewhere. I want to go somewhere desolate where there's not going to be a lot of people. Uh, I want to show you how to map the buttons. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So maybe we'll try and find like a house by itself somewhere. Like over there, maybe? Just want to try and avoid the people for right now at least. There's a shack right here. We're just going to go for that. Alright, go, go, go. Alright, here we go. So I'm just going to go over here to this house. Hopefully there's some weapons there. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I mean. Like you can push these buttons or you can use the trigger to fight. Which is pretty nice versus pressing this button here. Uh oh. There's somebody already here. I'm pretty sure. All right, we got our first kill, guys. This is crazy. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, loot this guy really quickly. Wow, he he had a much better weapon than me. That's for sure. Um, let me see. I'm going to dress up my guy because we never have clothing. Alright, here we go. Much, much, much better. So this is what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and map these buttons really quickly. I'm just going to lay down right here. Uh, what, you, what you're going to want to do is go here. Touch button. Uh, so I have different buttons mapped over here. You can drag and drop wherever you want them. The right trigger, which is right here. I obviously want to use it for firing. So I'm going to use it right here. The left trigger I want to use for zooming in, which is going to be this button here. Uh, the, uh, the T is the, uh, the sensor, the finger sensor. I'm going to use that for jumping. Uh, so just like three shortcuts. And once you exit, it says touch button saved. And you're pretty much good to go now. So if I hit this button, it, it'll start jumping by itself, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me switch my weapons, actually. Now, if I hit the left trigger, it's going to zoom in automatically, which is pretty awesome. And obviously, the right trigger will start firing. I don't want to do that yet because there might be people around. So if you guys are enjoying videos like this one here, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to make more gaming videos for all of you uh, to enjoy. But I really think it's a it's really cool phone. Uh, it has beautiful graphics. And all of these um, shortcuts are pretty nice with the triggers and everything. That's really, really cool. So let me go ahead and jump in. We're going to drive to the destination. I think I see somebody over there. Let's go ahead and greet them right now. Yeah, there's definitely a person there. They probably see me. I'm just going to go at them. Got them. This is what I mean. It's like it's so cool to have the triggers like that. It's really, really a nice feature to have. And here we go, guys. We just got wiped out, but we got 29th place, uh, which was a little bit of fun for sure. But yeah, overall, I really, really like this phone. Uh, if you guys want to play along, you guys can see my screen name. It's just Iggy Fresh with two H's. If you guys want to uh, see more PUBG videos, let me know in the comment section down below. We'll make some more content for you guys. Um, but overall, I got to say... I really enjoy playing uh, on this uh, mobile device. Uh, never thought I would be gaming on a mobile phone, uh, but this one is really nice. And if you guys can hear the fan, I'm going to get it over to the microphone. It comes out right here, and it's a little bit audible uh, once you start playing games, but um, 
like I said, this phone is really cool. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you guys are into mobile gaming. And uh, yeah, uh, as I mentioned, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see more PUBG videos. But yeah, guys, I really recommend this phone. I never thought I would be gaming on a mobile device, but uh, I really, really do enjoy it, especially with the triggers. It gives you a little more control, uh, so it's really cool. I'm going to leave the link to their site in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. Uh, also, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see more PUBG action, and uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.